I'm Veronica and welcome to Jersey City Flooding. In today's class, we're just going to need a block or a textbook, um, cookbook, anything like that. Uh, similar size, you can just use a hardcover book as well. Uh, we will be standing and holding the block as well as putting it on our back. So don't choose something too heavy and we will get started. All right, we will get started today. Take your block and bring it to the top of your mat and then plant your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then find space between the crown of your head and your tailbone, lengthening your back. Find a nice neutral position here. And then take a nice big breath. Exhale your ribs wide to the side and then inhale. Draw them towards one another or exhale, whatever, move on whatever breath works for you. For me, exhaling and drawing my ribs in makes more sense. And then next time you breathe in, you're gonna pause and then exhale, feel your hip bones draw up towards your rib cage. And then from there, you're just gonna inhale and release. So you're only flattening out the low back. The crown of your head is still nice and lengthened away from your tailbone. And the upper body doesn't change. And then again, feel those hips crawl up towards your ribs and then release. Using the lower abdominals here. Drawing. And release. One more time. And then find that nice neutral spine. Tuck your tailbone under, wrap your spine up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna do this once. Press through your hands, press through the tops of your feet, your shins. Try to find as even of a round as possible. Shake your head out. And then untuck your tailbone. Widen your sitting bones and then lengthen your Fine, in an arched position, but keep that rib to hip connection so you're not falling with your abdominals, you're still supported. And then from here, find that neutral pelvis. Grab the block with your one hand and then bring it onto your low back. So you're gonna have it right on your sacrum rather than on the like fleshy part of your back. And then you're gonna extend your right leg back behind you and then float the leg up and then pack it back down. And then lift it up and tap it down. Keeping your chest nice and square, your hips nice and square, though if your hips are not square and you start to dip one, the block will, or book, will eventually slide off. Two more, lifting the right leg. Last one, pause and bend the knee in, or the foot in rather, and then extend the leg long. So keeping the thigh at the same height, bend and extend. Three more like this. Two. Neck is long. Ribs are drying in. Last one. And then drop your knee down. And then you're just going to tap the floor and then lift the leg up. Tap. And lift. And if this is uncomfortable with the block or the book, just drop it. Keep pressing through the hands, lifting your chest. Take your head out. Make sure your neck is nice and long and you're not looking up or having your head dropped. Last one here. Good. Pause halfway down. Now you're going to externally rotate your leg and bring it up towards your right upper arm and then extend it back, bring it to neutral. So externally rotate and then bring it up towards the upper arm, back and neutral. A few more times. Again, just working the glute, working the hamstring, little inner and outer thigh as well, while keeping the whole rest of your body still. Last one. Lower that knee down, lower the leg. Switching sides, extend the left leg long. Float it up and lower back down. Hips are square. Your weight is as evenly split between your two arms as possible. And then make sure that you're not hyperextending through the arms. So you don't want the elbows locked out. You want a little bit of softness. Three more. I'm just a plain leg lift. Again, pressing out, make sure you're not sinking down because the block will stay if you're arching your back. So find the connection, ribs to hips in the front. Last one, keep it lifted, bend at the knee, bring the foot in, extend. And then think about reaching long through the front of the thigh as you bend, bend and you extend towards the wall behind you. Two more. Last one, have your fingers spread nice and wide, bend the knee and then drop it down and then lift it straight back up. And if your block has moved at all, just readjust it so that it's right on the sacrum. Three more. Two. 
Last one, leave it lifted or lower down a little if you need. Externally rotate, bring it toward your upper arm and then press it back and rotate. Externally rotate, bring it in and back and lift. Again, double check the neck. Last one. And then lower that knee down. Good, from here, tuck your toes under. Keep the block where it is. Press your hands into the floor and then press your feet into the floor and then come into a hover. And then you're gonna lower your knees back down. And then lift your feet up, knees up rather, into that hover. Again, soften through the elbows and lower down. Feel your ribs wrap in, your hips draw towards your ribs. Two more just like this. Keeping that block as still as you can. Last one, lift. And now you're gonna extend one leg back behind you and bring it back in and switch sides. Neck is long. Weight is still over your hands. Last one. And then lower the knees. Take that block off and then sit back onto your heels in a child's pose. And then find yourself on your stomach. You're gonna bring your block out in front of you and you're gonna place your hands on top of it. And then from here, just let your nose come down just on top of the floor so it's not quite laying down, you're just skimming the floor. And then you're gonna let your shoulders externally rotate slightly. So you're giving yourself a little bit of space between your ears and your shoulders, ears and your arms rather. And then you're gonna press down into the block. You can think about pulling it towards you a little if you need, and then lift your chest up in between your arms. And lower all the way down. You can bend and straighten the arms if you need. And if this is uncomfortable with your shoulders, you're just gonna bring your arms underneath your body, or beside your body rather, next to you. Your hips are square. Pressing down evenly into the mat along with your tailbone, you lengthen the low back. Lower down, two more. And last one, pause here and lift. You're gonna lift your right arm up and then your left. And again, pelvis pressing into the floor. Your bone is heavy, the low back is long. It's about the extension coming from the top her back, which is not low back extension, or solo. One more time to each side. The right, and left. And then let yourself lower all the way down. Give your hips a little shake, and then take your block next to you and press yourself back up onto your heels, and come around your back. Your upper block with you. And you're gonna put it in between the thighs. So pretty close to your knee. And then you're gonna bring your forearms onto the ground behind you. And then just make sure that you're not sinking into the floor. You wanna press down into the ground so that your chest is nice and lifted. Knees is at your knees. And then from here, keeping yourself in this neutral pelvis, so put weight into your hip. You're gonna hinge at the hip and bring your knees into your chest. You can always adjust the block if you need, but you're gonna squeeze the block and you're gonna rotate your leg over to the right, rib cage stays square, and then to the center, and over to the left. And then over to the right. And the purpose of the block in this position is to help keep your hips square because if you have your knees not in line with one another, your legs are moving more than your hips. Also, if you have it so loose, it may feel a little nice rolling from one side to the other. One more time each side. Like you're wringing out your torso. And then to the center. And then from here, you're gonna grab on behind your thighs and sit back, bring your knees into your chest. And then bring your knees into tabletop. Have your hands up towards the ceiling or behind your head, whichever you prefer, and you're gonna press your arms down as you lift your head, neck, and shoulders. You're in a nice neutral pelvis, so you have a little space under your little back. 
squeezing the block with your legs and lower down. Lift through the torso. And lower. we're gonna do four more fits like this. Three. Other legs come off the ground if you can. Two. Chin is not glued to your chest. Last one, come up and pause. Bring your hands behind your head now if they're not there already. Make sure your hips are square. You're gonna let your legs fall away from you a few inches and then bring them back in. So inhale, let them fall away. Exhale, bring them in. Again, squeezing onto that block, but think of the squeeze is coming from your belly, from your abdominals and the pelvic floor. Squeezing the pelvic floor like you're stopping the flow of urine. Two more. And as you lower, think about the belly staying where it is or descending towards the floor as you bring the legs in, not puffing up towards the ceiling. Last one. And then lower the head and then lower the legs all the way down, still keeping that block where it is. I need to move mine up a little bit, it's fine. If you find it's uncomfortable on your thighs, you can here put it in between your knees. On an angle will probably be the most comfortable. And then press your arms into the floor, curl your tailbone under, press your feet into the ground, and lift yourself up into a bridge. From here, tuck your tailbone under, think about opening through the front of the thighs, and then drawing the heels in towards your shoulders to engage through the back of the legs. And then from here, you're gonna find that neutral pelvis. So the hips are gonna close just a little. You're gonna drop the hips down, almost to the floor, but not quite. And then tuck the tailbone under as you lift. And then drop to neutral. Curl the tailbone under and lift. Thinking about squeezing through the block or the book as you lift and lower. We're gonna do two more. Last one, pause. Extend the right leg. Lower it down. Extend the left leg. Lower it down. Keep thinking about that block pointing straight up at the ceiling. And then minimizing that weight shift from one side to the other, using your abdominals, bringing your ribs towards your hips. You can also lower your hips and do this at a much lower height, or you can drop your hips all together and you're just gonna do the same thing. You can bring your hands onto your hips if that's helpful. If not, press down into the ground and use that to help stabilize you. Collarbone is nice and wide, one more time. Last one. Really feel the connection between your heels and your shoulders. Curl your tailbone under and then lower your spine all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Bring the block underneath your right foot. So your legs are now at an uneven height and you're gonna peel yourself up into a bridge. From here, you're just gonna lower the hips and keeping the feet at an uneven height. Just notice how that changes how your legs are working. The hips still stay square, two more. Last one, press the weight into the right leg. Bring the left leg into your chest. Extend it long and then bend it back in. And then extend and bend. Thinking about the thighs more or less staying in the same range of motion. Once more. Inner thighs keep drawing into each other. So even though you don't have that block in between your legs, keep thinking that it's there. And then you're going to Open up with the left leg, wide to the side, and then bring it back up and in. And then let the left hip drop a little, open that leg up to the side, bring it back up. Hips twist, and then bring it back up. Two more. Last one, plant that leg down, and then peel yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Switch the block over, so now it's going to be under that left foot. Make sure your whole foot sits on the block. And then peel yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Find that connection in the back of that left leg. Drop the hips and lift. If you want to make things a little bit more challenging, you're going to bring your hands off the floor. Just keep them straight over your shoulders. Again, not locked, up, locked out with a soft bend. <laughs> Two more. Last one, pause and lift here. Bring the right leg into tabletop. Extend the leg long, try to keep those sides more or less in line, bend it in. And bend. And bend. Inner thighs are still working together, even though they're not squeezing onto something together. Two more. 
Last one, pause with that knee bend. You're gonna rotate that leg out to the side, just the hip and the right leg. The left leg stays still, and then bring it back up. And then externally rotate it out to the side, and bring it back up. Again, you can keep your hands lifted if you'd like. Just make sure that your shoulders are still staying square on the ground. One more. And lower that leg down. Lift the hips, tuck them under, and then peel yourself down one vertebrae right at a time. You're gonna bring the block in between your feet and extend your leg long if you need to physically move it. No problem. You do that. You're gonna squeeze the block with your feet. Reach your arms up overhead. Bring your hands in front of your gaze so it's in your periphery. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Squeeze the block. Use your inner thighs. Press it away, let it slide, and then roll over your legs. Stack your spine up nice and tall. We're gonna do two more rolls like this. Tuck your tailbone under, feel your, rib, your hips draw up towards your ribs, like you're gonna put the very lowest part of your spine on the ground first. The block, book, whatever, and feet will come with you. Let your arms come overhead. Once they're in your periphery, nod your head, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and then roll up. Think about sending the block and your legs away. And then here, you're not gonna stack your spine back up. You're just gonna roll right back down. Thinking about opening up through the front of the hips and down. This next time, we're gonna come up and pause. Round over before you get the crease in the hip. Over the leg, sit up nice and tall, grab your block, and you're just gonna sit on it. Let your knees come down by your sides. Bring your hands behind your head or out to a T, whichever you prefer. And you're just gonna rotate over to the right and give it two little pulses. One, two, and then back to the center, growing nice and tall over to the left. One, two, center. Really ringing out through the abdominals again. Last one. And normally we end standing, but since you're on this lovely block, you're just gonna reach your arms up overhead. Externally rotate through the upper arm. Find that connection from the ribs to hips. Your step spine is stacked nice and tall. Head over your spine. And then press down through the arms. And as you grow tall through the torso. And then just let your hands find your legs. And you are all finished.